Okay, so we are starting our uh, week on themes. So the whole lesson, everything that we are focused on for this week will be on themes. So today's objective is readers infer the major themes of a fiction book. So we can infer themes from both fiction and nonfiction books. Today's focus is on fiction books. So, we're going to start out by looking at what the definition of a theme is. So, a theme is the subject of a talk, a piece of writing, a person's thoughts, or an exhibition, a topic. So, it is a theme you could say is almost like a focal point. It is something that is being focused on in a particular discussion or writing. Whatever an author is talking about in their story, it's going to be around a theme usually. So there are all kinds of different themes and we're going to look at some today. So that's the definition of a theme. The subject of a talk, a piece of writing, a person's thoughts, or an exhibition can also be considered a topic. So we're going to look at this well, we're not reading this book. We're going to read this book actually tomorrow. Um, either, it depends. If I can get a hold of a physical copy, I'll read the book to you. If I cannot, I have at least a read aloud, you know, video version that we can look at. So, the title of this book is Mrs. Caston Tush. All right? And it is written by Patricia Polacco. Here we have the cover, so you can kind of look at that real closely. So you have an elderly woman, you have a young boy here, and then this is Tush, the cat. All right? This story is about an African-American boy who develops a special friendship with his neighbor, an elderly Jewish woman. But that's not all that the story is about. So we're going to look at page 16. That's the only page we're looking at so far in this story. And we're going to see if we can figure out one of the themes of this story. So here's page 16. When they got home, they called and called for Tush, but she didn't come. They looked everywhere for her. Suddenly, Mrs. Katz gasped. The window to the fire escape was open. Oh, no, she cried. I forgot to shut the window before I left. Poor Bouboulé. She has never been outside. We'll find her, Larnell tried to reassure her. She has been acting strange lately, Mrs. Cat said through her tears. She has been trying to get out, but I was afraid that she would get hit by a car. I'll find her, Mrs. Cat, Larnell said. I won't let you down. Okay, so there's the page in the story. Tush has ran away. We have some upset, an upset elderly woman. Larnell, who we saw on the cover, is there. He's saying that he's going to look for the cat and all of that. So what do you think is the big idea that the author wants you to think about? What is the theme? What are the focal points? Remember, stories can have multiple themes. But based on page 16, what do you think the theme is of this story, or at least one of the themes of this story? So what's it? So sometimes, I mean, I think that's a little bit of a stretch, but we'll, we'll see if we can add on to that. Yes, there is sadness, obviously, that the cat is lost, but I think there's a bit more to it than just that. So let's keep on thinking. Amelia? So the, there is a cat in it, but I think there's a bit more to it than just a cat. Think about page 16, what we just read in this story. What's going on? What's going on in there? Zoe. Loyalty or friendship. Now those are themes, right? Those are things that you can learn or can be learned through a story. So yeah, that would be possible themes. Brecken. Maybe you Okay, that could be it. Daniel. Being helpful, helping others. Those are good themes as well. 
Okay, so yeah, thinking about that, in that page, there was a lot going on, and I think a lot of you brought in some good ideas there. Because it's not just about a cat, all right? Or it's just not about sadness, there's a bit more going on. We have to think deeper when it comes to themes, all right? Because themes can have, usually it's like the moral of the story, right? You can think of it like that in a way. So themes, again, are things that we learn or are talked about through a writing or a discussion. So let's see what, what we have here. So the theme, the theme of a story is what, is re what it is really about. It is the big idea. One of the themes of this story is empathy. Empathy. Do we know what empathy, the definition of that might be, Zoe? Feeling what somebody else is feeling. Yep, that would be a good way of describing it. Feeling sad for somebody else, trying to walk through their shoes, right? Those are all good uh, definitions for the word empathy. So, how does the author reveal or show this theme on page 16? So we just read page 16. One of the themes is empathy. There are more in there. How do we know, or how do we, how can we come to the conclusion that empathy is one of the themes based on what we read, the evidence that we have? So I'll go back to page 16 real quick so we can look at this. I'll read it once more, and you're going to think about empathy. Where does that come up? What is that, how, what kind of evidence do we use from this page? When they got home, they called and called for Tush but she didn't come. They looked everywhere for her. Suddenly, Mrs. Katz gasped. The window to the fire escape was open. Oh no, she cried. I forgot to shut the window before I left. Poor Bouvelle. She has never been outside. We'll find her, Darnell tried to reassure her. She has been acting strange lately, Mrs. Katz said through her tears. She has been trying to get out, but I was afraid that she would get hit by a car. I'll find her, Mrs. Katz, Larnell said. I won't let you down. So, what can we use from this text, from page 16, that kind of backs up empathy, backs up that theme? Zoe? I won't let you down. I won't let you down. Yep, there we go. There's some evidence here. Larnell is telling her that he won't let her down in trying to help her. Okay, so that's some evidence. Is there any other bits of text in here that we could use to try to back up the idea that empathy is the uh, theme? Go ahead, Micah. Okay, so she's saying that she's afraid that Tush is going to get hit by a car. And what does Larnell say in response to that? What does Larnell say after she says that? I'll read it again. Well, I won't read the whole page, but just this part. She's been acting strange lately, Mrs. Katz said through her tears. She has been trying to get out, but I was afraid that she would get hit by a car. I'll find her, Mrs. Katz, Larnell said. I won't let you down. I'll find her. Yeah, so he doesn't just say, oh no, right? He says, I'm gonna find her and she's gonna help you to fix this problem, right? What else, Larnell? Um, yeah, so you can know how she feels, right? Through tears. And there's a lot of description going on about how she feels, right? And then we see some response, right, from Larnell. If, if Larnell did not respond to the elderly lady and what she was feeling, could we say that empathy is one of the themes? No, we could not. Because empathy requires walking through what they're, walking through their shoes, right? Feeling for what they're feeling. And if Larnell doesn't respond, 
then we can't really say that the theme, one of the themes is empathy, right? So that's where we have to say, when we say, when we argue that one of the themes, for example, is empathy, we need to look for that evidence, right? And so this is one of the things that we need to work on um, just through my readers' responses when I'm reading those and you guys are presenting your evidence for what you're wondering or thinking. You have to think about that. Evidence comes from the text. You're citing from the text what's happening, and that is your evidence, okay? Just like anything else, right? If somebody's gonna tell you something, you're not just gonna necessarily believe right away, you're gonna ask them to prove or back up what they're saying, right? That when they back up what they're saying, that is evidence, all right? And now, again, a lot of you guys brought up some good themes. Friendship, loyalty, all of that, right? Those themes can still be in this book. We haven't read the whole story. We just read one page. So there could be more than one theme in a story. So keep that in mind when we're reading the story tomorrow. It's not just empathy. There's more to the story than just that, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop there.